changed the filter on me. There we go. That's the one I wanted. Hey, honey, this is Val. What's up, boo boo? It is Friday, and let me take this out. There we go. It's Friday. Say hello and tune in. Today is the day to tune in to Valtopia TV. If there ever was a day for you to tune in to Valtopia TV, it's today, honey. Say hello. I'm going to wave at everyone. Hey, Amanda. Hey, Mark. Who else is here? Hey, um, Rebecca. What up? Ooh, say hello, everybody. It's Funk It Friday. Funk It Friday. Funk It Friday. <laughs> What's going on? Hey, Amanda, what's up, my lady? Look at this glamorous, glitzy. Uh, let's see if I put my ring on it, if it'll go all blingy. Not really. All right. So here is why today is the greatest day ever for you to tune in. Listen, I'm Val, by the way. If you're just getting to know me and you're watching the replay, please let me know. Say hello in the comments and tune into this energy because so many of us, I see us, are experiencing uh, a lack of connection to the stuff that makes us the coolest and the best ever and because it doesn't feel like we've been allowed to do and be that. And that's what I want to talk about today because I have this really powerful gift with my toning and my voice and nobody can create that sound like me. And when I use that with my customers, when I customers and use those words, when I'm in an accession with my clients and my group members and I allow the tones to come through, magic happens. And this kind of work is new and different. And using drums and tones and allowing yourself to really, 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 really be in your body and to bring through the energy that's grounded and down inside of you, that's over the top, that's out, that allows you to really bring through the energy. This is my gift. And, this, and, and all of our ability to tune into that kind of place where you let go of your conditioning, your programming, your beliefs, that's when you get to stream through the beautiful frequency that is you that nobody else can be. And that's where the wisdom and the messages and the answers come. And so many of us, especially those of us who work really hard and are very gifted already and um, have been bringing through so much magic, and it feels like we have done lots of work to allow ourselves to be ourselves and express it. But there's more, and we're holding back. We're holding back, and we're holding back our magic. And I don't want that to happen anymore. So I won't let it happen anymore. And I'm bringing through my bongos and I'm bringing through my tones. And uh, I, I'm so excited today. My team showed me um, the pipeline that we have for my membership programs and all the content that I've been has to do with you is that you have magic inside of you that you too embarrassed or you're too um, frozen or you're too rigid or you're too fearful or you're too something 
something's keeping you from like this much or this much or this much of what would truly allow you to align and flow and be yourself in a way where you forget about yourself, the way that flow comes through because you're so in tune with what is naturally your gift and who you are. And it doesn't necessarily always be apparent right away. And, um, and that's, that's, the, that's the magic that we're gonna tune into together. Jeanette. Hi, Linda. Say hello. Hi, Yvonne. All right. So today I want to share with you beyond these beautiful beats, beyond the knowing of the magic that's inside of you that we're going to unlock and bring through divine timing. Hi, Valerie. How are you? I was coming on today to share all of the depth of the magic and unlock it energetically with you and through, um, through the gifts that I'm bringing through. So divine timing is everything. And these are my fuck yeah cards that you can get. I'm gonna put a link in the comments. You can get them um, for yourself. And I've just ordered 20 decks I love that, how they're blinging in the thing. It looks really pretty. And so I'm going to be putting together these amazing Christmas bundles that I'm super excited about. And uh, so, hi, Janessa, how are you? I'll say hello. I love this little feature where you can wave at everybody and say hello. So I wanted to come through and do a little piece of what I've, been, I've done before, which is the Funk It Friday. <laughs> So I was bringing through the message of uh, each of our individual beautiful frequencies that we have and that we each have special gifts uh, that we only find through truly embodying and going that extra bit of whatever it takes for you to immerse yourself in the truth of who you are. And you might think that you've gotten there or you might be afraid to go there or you might already be well in there and ready to embody to another level. Uh, I am all about us pushing beyond what we think is enough um, because there's really only your, your connection to your guidance ultimately. And for many of us who are really super feely, hey Lynn, we, um, we limit ourselves from tuning into the magic because of fear or trauma or resistance of some kind. And I'm telling you that we are, we are embodying and immersing beyond the trauma, beyond the trigger, beyond that point where you keep coming to it that you think, I know, I know I can come through this. I know there's more that I remember. For example, with me, the toning. The toning is the most natural thing for me to do. It's a gift. And I've been bringing it through my work more and more. Well, how about if I speak about it more? How about if I share it out? Um, it's a gift that is magical and is beyond a training or a PDF or a, um, a, it's a natural modality. It's a natural way of being in the body that allows the pure energy to stream through and the frequencies to, to transmit. And I believe that it's sacred geometry coming through um, sounds, which is incredibly healing. Vibration, tonal vibration is one of the most rapid, beautiful ways to heal. And um, so... Open yourself up to the magic that's inside of you that you have been feeling so naturally, but maybe you think it's too weird or maybe you don't quite know how to bring it into your experience. Um, maybe there's parts of you that you are aware of or you were aware of at one point in your life and now they, you're not in touch with them as much because you went through something where you had to turn it off 
and you really want to turn it back on and you feel like you're disconnected or separate from yourself somehow, you're not separate and you're not broken and you can get every bit of it back. You can remember everything about yourself. You already do. And you're in exactly the right place and the right time. And you tuned into this message today to know that uh, you will find and remember everything that you already know inside of you. And that the more we tune into these, these gifts, these natural tendencies and um, impulses and uh, callings and honor them and turn off the voices of fear and control that keep us from allowing ourselves to grow beautifully like a wildflower with sunshine and water. The more that you allow that to come through. Hi, Sarah, welcome. The more that that energy will rise up through you and blossom within you. And um, I'm just, I'm a champion of the, the dream, your dream. Hey, Sarah, yes, oh, it's Priestess Batopia. I'm glad you're here. I want to I want to share with you if you're just popping on we're talking about divine timing so you're in divine timing with me right now and we were doing some bongos and I was talking about toning and how you have a magical thing inside of you that's so natural and beautiful and that you're meant to open up even more and experiment with and play Sarah what's your magic tell tell us tell us your beautiful um, your beautiful thing that maybe is vulnerable or uh, you don't feel everyone would understand yet because it's so cosmic and beautiful. I want to hear. I want to hear what that is. And feel free to share this and get some more friends on the discussion. It's a gorgeous day. It's always a gorgeous day, but it's today's even especially gorgeous. Tell me what um, comes through for you. And I'm sharing this. I'm looking to the right because I'm sharing in my group. So we have some more friends come. Hi, Sarah, what up, Babu? Sarah, we're talking about the magic that, you know, Sarah knows, she's in my love drops. I tone, and my toning is magical and healing and unexplainably powerful and one of my strongest gifts, and it's the thing I'm focusing on the least. And today I had a powerful session with a client where we did cord cutting, and I did the tones, and the magic came through. Hey, Sandy. And I'm knowing um, deeply to allow that more strong, like I've been, I've gotten the message a lot. Also my painting, these are things that are so beautiful and lovely and natural and um, we get taught you can't make money or um, you don't, you don't, you know, that's weird or people won't understand. And that's exactly the stuff that we are being called to embody and um, be in and of because that's when the, Connection is the most pure and untouched by the programming, the conditioning, the, um, uh, you know, sorry, I'm getting messages coming through, distracting me. Sarah says, love that. We'll comment when it comes through. Okay, how about I'm the embodiment of unleashed creativity? Yes, and I want you to know, Sarah, and everybody watching, that that's one of my, um, I'm a wonderful combination of, Permission, I give you permission to be yourself all the way because honey, look at me. And I'm not even letting myself be all the way and that's the beauty is that I know the vulnerability of feeling afraid to share yourself. Oh God, do I know it. I've moved so much in my life and I was always the new kid and alone on the playground in my weirdness and my freaky beautiful weirdness. <laughs> and there's a lot of shame that comes with exposing your vulnerable side that is um, so beautiful and creative. And being creative is about making mistakes and expressing yourself in a way that doesn't feel uh, smooth and easy. Um, and, it, and it is in expressing that part of you that you give the gift of others to open up to theirs. And so, uh, uh, but I've also done it time and again. So yes, Sarah. So, uh, you know, any excuse you have, um, for keeping yourself distracted from your magic and your creativity. Honey, I know I've been there, done that, so I'll call you on it if I see um, you given an excuse to um, not allow yourself to breathe into and well beyond your edges. And that's what we're doing in Valtopia. We are 
breathing into our real container, which is nothing, it's everything. Everything is everything and we are everything. And when we allow ourselves to tune inward and allow the magic of who we are and um, take special care to honor that relationship daily by cultivating people, wonderful people that inspire us, that are actually doing it and being it. And it's really about immersing in that love of um, what's coming through you and nurturing it with physical health and wellness and spiritual wellness and um, thinking about it, talking about it, being of it, sound therapy and whatever it takes to allow your cells to um, vibrate and resonate from in that place of creativity is extremely magical and powerful. It opens up so much. What do you guys have to say? Um, I love this. So thank you for joining me today. I'm feeling throat chakra. Who's got a bubbly throat chakra coming up? Who's feeling that? I wasn't planning on doing any readings today. I was coming on just to share this message, but I always love to tune in and pull some cards from my deck, which you want to get. I just ordered a bunch, so you'll be able to order them straight from me soon. I might do some paintings. Um, I have some canvases I bought that aren't that big, and I think I might do um, some beautiful paintings in a, a fuck yeah deck. Oops, I just dropped a card, which is apparently for us. Sarah says, girl, you feel good. And then Sarah Dye says, who else? Is it you, Sarah? Are you tuning into my... See, Sarah Dye is in you. I never know how to say your name, honey. I love you so much is my love drop. And she's so empathically tuned into me. She can probably feel the thoughts running through my head, which when I watch myself and play back, I don't see what I was feeling as I was speaking. So thank you for loving me so much, Sarah. And let's practice, this is what we're practicing right now, is detaching from being empathic with others, is I find that that's trust. Trusting um, me that I'm bringing it through and I, and I want you to receive what year comes through for your end. I wanna feel your, um, your knowing of it without um, um, anticipating it for me. Oh, how does that sound? I love that, we're doing a session right here. Get this, the card that fell down is the card of the day, divine timing. Of course, of course. Hey, Olivia. Um, and Sarah X, uh, Exley, is that right? X, I love that you're here joining us. So let's pull some fuck yeah cards really fast because um, this energy of bringing through what's in you and allowing yourself to go beyond what feels okay or and you know, going into the awkward, um, doing stuff that like the people around you might say like, okay, now you're, please, you're over the top. Like that's a little much. Or what about this cause? And the cause is something that, you know, this is the stuff we need to talk about. This is what we do in Valtopia. We get beyond the, because I've been beyond those borders my whole freaking life, people. I moved as a young child. I was always the new kid. I've never fit in. And then I've always fit in, you know? I understand what it means to just be thrust out time and again beyond what everybody else thinks is cool. I can't help myself. And what I've learned is that there's all this deliciousness on the other side of that, oh my God, I'm being exposed. What the fuck is on? What am I gonna do now? So, um, if Altopia is a place where we experiment with those edges and feel safe and supported um, energetically, and um, the work that I'm bringing through now is about creating a much more resonant uh, presence um, that's aligned with the exchange. And, and so um, I've created two different types of containers, I suppose they're homes, the fuck yeah, and the RHB, Rich Hot Badass. And these terms are just Fun, I just like the zippy fun terms, but the depth of what we're doing here is profound. We are opening throat chakras, we're unlocking hearts, we are opening the passageway of each of us from earth to sky. We are knowing our own awarenesses that we've been ignoring for years and eons, let's say. We're clearing feelings of, of memories that we've had when in, in other lifetimes where we've been murdered and attacked. Things that are coming up, um, um, you're feeling heart chakra and anxiety. 
All right, Sarah. See, Sarah's our, our, our super empath. So Sarah, I want you to breathe into and ask to be real, um, uh, released of this energy. And then tune in and tell us what you're feeling from your own energy. So each of us have beautiful gifts where we uh, expand beyond what's considered normal or acceptable. Or, um, and sometimes the, the choices we make, not sometimes, the choices we make that guide us closer to those gifts and, and may get, guide us away from those we love can, can result, for, in my case and in my client's case, results in an, an aligned experience of being that after some time of rearrangement becomes much easier and peaceful and joyful and connected and powerful and abundant and flowy because it's a one of, of where we can speak our truth, we know we're connected in, we're allowing that to guide what we're doing and being, and we're calling in and magnetizing um, the experiences that make sense to us. So, um, who's still here with me? And, um, oh, I'm seeing all the comments, yeah, okay. So, hey Chester. So the work that, that we want to get into and that I'm bringing forward is, is about quick little things that bring you daily back into your um, flowed presence. Because I know from the journey, um, it's a combination of that and it's also having a place to like kind of spread your wings a little where you don't feel uh, judged and you, um, and you allow yourself to... Uh, you know, expand. Sarah, actually, are you still here with me? Let's see. I love all your comments, and I was gonna see if you wanted to come on and do a, a little chat with me. Let's see if you're still here. Yes, yeah, she's still here. Can I invite you to join me? I wonder if your filter will be the same as mine with the diamonds. Do you, can you join me on the video? I was trying to invite you, but it wasn't letting me do that. Let me see if I do it up here. Bring on camera, there it is. This would be fun, I haven't done this in a while. And as I'm tuning in, I feel a little bit of solar plexus. Is, is the camera working? Oh, you declined the invitation, okay. I put you on the spot, didn't I? Do you wanna come on, cam on the video with me if you do? Otherwise, let me tune in to you with my book and card. I like how I went back down. watching this and is a, a funk fan in Texas give me a private message um, you can't at the moment you want to at some point okay good all right girl all right well this is the kind of stuff that we're gonna get into in my in my group um, and tuning into each of you I can see your energy I can feel what's in your field I can, uh, it's a really beautiful experience. All right, let's pull a card for you and everyone, for Sarah Dainui, for everybody that's been on here with us, and let's see what comes through. I feel some throat chakra. I feel some, yes, look at this. I was talking about a place to spread your wings. Talk about cracking wings. It's about letting your, oh, breaking free from your shackles, Opening the throat and heart chakra, freeing and taking flight. And, 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 and we do that with laughter. <laughs> we do that all kinds of different ways. But um, that's the message coming through. Let's see if there's any other messages for the day. And yes, the body, moving the body. And um, oh, it is frozen. I can see that. All right, well, the energy's too much, honey. So um, move your body, sing, listen to tones, allow the sacred geometry to come through the physical beingness of it, the vibration of it. Excuse me. See, I'm clearing that stuff. All right, you guys are frozen, so I'm going to sign off. I don't even know if you can hear me now. And um, I, I'm grateful for your presence today. And... Uh, 
join me some more. I'll be back on. Own your frequency, honey. Nobody like you. And sign up for my new stuff. It's coming. It's coming, honey.